Hi YouTubers, it's Danielle. I'm back again to do another eye tutorial. This I'm calling my zebra eye makeup tutorial. Um, I, I did get a request for this, which is pretty cool, even though it was from my year old son. But um, it was a pretty awesome idea, and we went online and we um, looked up animals and prints, so I might be doing a few tutorials with animal prints in it, um, which I think is pretty cool. Let me get closer so you can get a look at it. I think it came out really nice, and um, it was a lot of fun to do, and he was so excited about it. So if you would like to see how to do this look, just keep watching. Okay, let's get started. I already primed my eye with Urban Decay Eye Primer. We're going to be taking um, NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk, and you're going to be spreading this on your eye, giving it a really good coverage right to the crease. Okay, now we're going to take a shadow brush and this is NYX Matte White and we're just going to put this all over the white just to give us a base quested by my eight-year-old son, <laughs> Colin, and I said, why not? That's a really good idea. So we went online and we got some animals that we liked, and so this one may be the first one of an animal print series. L'Oreal Vol Voluminous Eyeliner in Black. Looks like that. And it kind of has this like weird tip on it. It looks like that. It's just kind of angled. And what we're going to do is we're going to start from the corner and we're going to make a little line up. Just like that. And then we're going to make another line. I mean, they're not going to be exactly the same, which is fine. What zebra has the same spots, same stripes? I do not know. So, we're just kind of drawing lines on there. And I am going to use this just to line very close to my lash line while we're there. So that when this line comes out, it's there already. We are going to be taking, um, this is a little liner brush from Sonia Kashuk. Looks like that. And I'm going to be dipping it into the matte black from NYX reason being is that I want to go over these lines that we made and I'm filling them in also a little bit I love that my son wants to get involved in what I'm doing you know, the kids have really great ideas and you never think to, to ask them, <laughs> you know. I'm going to put a little of this black under. Um, okay, we're going to take this size crease, crease brush, okay? Looks like that. This is from Essence of Beauty. And we're going to be sticking it into the black. Flicking it off, definitely. And then we're going to start at this outer corner, and we're going to concentrate most of the dark right there. But we're going to be doing a wiper effect in <laughs> Okay, wiping that brush off, 
I'm going to be taking, this is an NYX, it's um, from the ceramic um, trio, it's a dark gray with um, sparkle in it, couldn't think of it, taking the same uh, crease brush, tapping it off, and this is what we're going to use to blend up into the crease. So it gives us a little bit of a sparkle, but not too much. Now taking this little crease brush from Essence of Beauty to that matte black again, and I'm just going to be putting this into my eyebrows. So my hair is really dark, and everyone says, don't wear black in your eyebrows, but I think it actually looks better with my hair color. So I just do what I want. <laughs> I'm just going to be taking this, uh, it's another heavy silk brush, but I'm going to be dipping it into, this is White Pearl from NYX, and it's just got a shimmer in it. And we're going to be pressing this into, under the brow for our brow highlight, and I want to bring it down. I'm taking my Sun Kashuk blending brush. Okay, um, this would be the one thing I would not live without. I'm just going to start blending this all together so we have no really harsh lines. Just looking to make sure that we're even. Liner, inliner. I got it from Ulta. It's just black. I'm going to be lifting my lashes. I'm going to be putting this on my upper lash line, water line, just because I want my lashes to look thick. Thick and full. I mean, if this is uncomfortable for you, in the first few times I did do it, I was like, oh my god. But if it's uncomfortable for you to do that, then you don't have to do that. You can skip that step. Just that I, it's my preference on how I like it to look. Okay, I'm going to pause to curl my lashes and tell you what's on the rest of my face. Okay, so here's the final look. Let me get closer so you guys can see. Close my eyes. This is my zebra-inspired print requested by my 8-year-old son, um, which I was really excited to do for him because he was really excited about it. Um, on my face, I am wearing Rimmel natural bronzer in shade 21 and it's sunlight um for blush i am wearing studio gear t rose and it looks like that for um mascara i'm wearing rimmel sexy curves for my highlight for both my brow and my cheekbone i'm wearing the urban decay cream shadow in moonshine for my contour, I'm wearing NARS Laguna, love that shade. For um, my lips, I put on, what is this one? I put on, this is Pink Pout from Revlon, I really love this color. And this is Berry Rich from NYC, I just stuck a little bit of that in it, just because I thought it needs to be a little deeper. And this is the final look, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you have any questions, comments, um, want to see a review on something, just want to say hi, definitely stop by and do that. And I will see you guys soon. Bye.